How you doing, YouTube? Little, uh, just an evening walk. That's what we're doing tonight. Just gonna kind of walk around and have some fun. We're gonna drink a beer. I'm gonna do uh, Mass Landing's um, Mainstay. Um, you know, it's an IPA. 6.2% from up uh, Portland. But uh, it's a beautiful evening. I need to take a walk, so we're gonna do this. Pour that in here and just kind of take a walk. So there we go. Come on, Meeks. Let's go, babe. That's Mika. I don't know if you guys ever met Mika before, but my dog, my dog, still, um, he died. I really had to hard time talking about it. Oh, we get tangled up here in the court. Hold on a second. Let me stuff this in my pocket. Um, uh, my, my dog Bisto died once. He was he was my boy. He was my uh my main man. But uh, you know, she has come a long way as far as being a dog, as being an awesome dog. So yeah, so I figured I'd take a walk around, drink a beer, just to enjoy outside. It's probably one of the first. Evenings, um, it's been tolerable to be outside, like comfortably. Like there, it's been kind of warm, um, decently warm, like on and off. But we've been getting like random, like snow and shit like that. But tonight's like the night where it's like t-shirt weather, beer weather, and the whole nine. So I figured I'd take a little walk around the farm. Miga, come on, babe. Let's go. Um, and just enjoy some stuff. This beer is nice. A little bit maltier than I expected because I had a couple things from Mass Landing. Um, that kind of blew me away, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, some of their smaller beers, some of their smaller, like, IPA stuff like that. I had, um, uh, paper plates and, and, uh, which with, like, a session IPA. And then, uh, one of the best uh smaller abv kind of um uh darker beers malt driven beers i've had in a very long time was there uh, something daughter i think it was called maybe um it was like a porter with uh coffee and chocolate and all that stuff and that was absolutely fantastic so this one's a little bit of a surprise and that it doesn't blow me away it's not the first beer I've had from them, but it's the first beer that that uh is hasn't blown me away. Come on, babe. So yeah, take a walk. Around here. This is where I live now. I live in North Jersey. A lot of people don't actually think of farmland um when they think of Jersey. But um, you know. I'm pretty much becoming, <laughs> I'm, I'm not becoming a farmer, but um, my future wife is, so just kind of getting back to my roots. I grew up in the middle of nowhere, you know, uh, Goldsboro, Pennsylvania, which is like podunk, whatever. So I figured I'd, uh, you know, figured it'd be an easy transition to come here but at the same time I thought it'd be weird because I'm commuting to work and doing a whole bunch of other things and <clears throat> it was going to be like a weird thing where I was like I don't know if it's going to work but it's working way better than I thought it actually would so anyway more beer yeah so yeah as far as a mainstay goes this beer it's it, it's nice it's malt forward it's more herbally hop kind of spicy hop driven delicious tasty but at the same time a bit more old school than i thought it would be based off of what they've thrown out um beer wise in general but yeah that's the uh it's pretty much the home well that's the field there the homestead's over here we got Little, little house here, fire pit. I'm gonna burn all that shit. Uh, you know, nice little barn. 
the red light of death. You can sit here and it's almost like a horror movie and be like, what the fuck's going on? That's where the chickens are. We just got a bunch of uh, uh, small chicks, so we have, have them under a heating lamp. So they keep warm. Yeah. What do you think, Vika? We doing all right? Huh, babe? So, yeah. Here's a... Uh, a live video it's it, the weird thing is I kind of wanted to do a live video um, because <laughs> I think that's the only time I can actually do live video is when I'm outside the house there is uh Miga no come come on babe down here let's go um, there, <laughs> I'm in a land of DSL right now so I actually don't have any internet in the household. So when I leave the house, that's actually when I have internet. So forgive me for yelling at my dog right now. She needs to be yelled at. Mika, come down here now. Mika, come. Mika, come, come. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. If I don't yell at her. She's new. She's um, a dog. We're trying to make a farm dog. She's pretty much been a household dog the whole time. I've had her, but she's acclimating well to the whole dog lifestyle here and whatnot. So let's see if I can adjust this real quick. I know you guys can't see shit at this point, so I don't even think I can actually focus. But how about that? A little bit better. Uh, so yeah, a little quick video, kind of let you guys know where I'm at, things I'm doing. Quick beer review too. Uh, not that it was in depth or anything like that, but. Yeah, yeah, kind of awesome living out here. I, like I said, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, so to actually come back here is pretty, pretty fantastic. So, mass landing, um, nice beer, bit old school. Um, something uh, if you're in a kind of like old school, like Midwest, West Coast, not super resiny, but kind of tasty nonetheless kind of uh, not juicy not like haze bro style stuff um beers that that uh that are how do i put this it, it, it has that old school influence that old hazy um or the old west coast resininess east coast vibes with a bit of citrus but at the same time it's giving you um that new school kind of hazy thing that uh everybody's doing and it's a it's a cool marrying of it it hasn't blown me away uh, as much as some of the other beers I've had from them as of late. But at the same time, it's it's a fun beer, a good beer. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the little walk around, a little tour, a little live video. Hopefully it didn't come off too bad. I know it's kind of dark. And uh, yeah, hopefully you see you, uh, see you guys next time. Cheers.